All right, let's dive into the world of digital advertising. Travis Klinger is with us, Chief Connectivity and Ecosystem Officer at LiveRamp. So we had Google move away from the cookies, and the cookies basically give more and more da data and proprietary data to a name like Google. By moving away from the cookies, um, this could, by disabling tracking cookies for 30 million Chrome users, what does this mean for Google? Hi, Nicole. Great to be with you today. So I think the end of the cookie is a major event for the advertising ecosystem overall. And what it means is it means the way that much of the digital advertising inventory, which is over a $50 billion market in the U.S. alone, is changing over the next uh, 10 months. And with Google, uh, just eight days ago, they deprecated 1% of the cookies. And they're doing this to increase user privacy um, and make it more transparent in how data is used uh, with consumers. So ultimately, the end of the cookie is a good thing. And it's going to make a better internet. Uh, and it is time to do it. But with that said, it's going to be a major event. And I think for publishers who have deep first-party consumer relationships, they're going to massively benefit from this. We're going to see a trend where marketers like Albertson, yeah. for example. Oh, sorry. No, go ahead. Oh, sorry. We're going to see a trend where marketers like Albertson, for example, are looking at how they can use their retail media data on a platform like Pinterest, uh, where Pinterest has deep consumer relationships, people who are really interested and share their data in a consented and authenticated manner. And in turn, then, uh, you're able to connect retail media data personalize, show personalized stats, and then measure the actual impact. Did those users go into store and did they actually buy more of what the ad was selling them? So it's a really exciting year for folks who have strong consumer relationships uh, over the next 10 months. So I feel torn because on the one hand, you know, you don't want to be tracked, you don't want your data. And so with fewer cookies or knowing what I'm doing, basically, um, that feels like it's good, but there's going to be something else that comes on the privacy sandbox. It's a new tracking system. It's a bit more private called the privacy sandbox. So it's not like Google will be left for not, right? No, exactly. And it's important that like we recognize what did the cookie first do? The cookie enabled the explosive growth of the internet over the past 20 years. It created a value exchange where consumers were able to get free content. Today, you can browse endless websites. You can watch hours and hours of connected TV. And you can do this because of the third-party cookie. And it's time that the ecosystem evolves to a more privacy-safe way. But we also want to continue to give publishers and the large social platforms a way to monetize their inventory. Because that monetization through advertising is what drives the innovation of the internet and what keeps the open internet free for consumers. So to ensure that there's still uh, unlimited free content and to ensure that consumers can have an incredible time on the internet in a privacy safe way, the post cookie solutions aim to do this. And that's what Google is trying to do with Privacy Sandbox. Right, understood. Um, what about all the other names? I mean, if you're telling me that they've now reduced 1%, it's Jan you know, the first week of January, and they're going to move forward with you know 30 million Chrome users, what about all the other big companies that use cookies? I think for the companies who use cookies, those who have deep consumer relationships. So think about your favorite publishers, um, like the New York Times and News Corp. They are going to benefit from this. They have those relationships. They have the consumer's trust. They will be able to use the post-cookie solutions that enable brands to connect their data to those publishers. So at LiveRamp, we're focused on helping enable brands to build an enduring consumer brand and be able to connect their data to personalize the consumer experience wherever it is. And so publishers and platforms who have those deep consumer relationships, Connected TV, for example, is going to have a huge opportunity over the next year because they have identity that is going to last beyond the cookie. They have that trusted value exchange. Those are publishers who have login events. So when you log into a site with a subscription or you log in to share your email, they are going to succeed. The social platforms, so the Pinterest, the Snaps, the Metas, the Googles of the world, they have those login events, so they are going to benefit from this. And then importantly, marketers want to make sure that they're able to measure the effectiveness of their advertising dollars. So these platforms and publishers have to think not only about connecting their data to their publisher inventory, but also making sure that everything is measurable. If I saw an ad for yogurt, 
did I go into the grocery store and buy more yoga or did I buy the more premium brand of yoga? Uh, and the good news is there are solutions in place that make this better post cookie. And this is going to be the year of transition. So I think if we were to come back here a year from now, it's actually going to be a really exciting year for those publishers, for those platforms, those marketers, but most importantly for the consumers. The internet is about to get massively upgraded so that you can still consume that same great content in a privacy safe way. And explain to us how you've been ready at LiveRam for your clients. I mean, you have big clients like Disney um, and many others. You've been ready for this, as you noted, as people have been making the changes, how they use and view things, right? Absolutely. So at LiveRam, we recognized that the cookie was going away over seven years ago because Google may be the last browser to remove the cookie but cookie list has been a conversation for a while now. Safari was the first browser with Apple and over 30% of the users in the US removing the cookie in 2017. And so at LiveRun, we've been focused on how do we enable cookie list collaboration and connectivity for the world's largest brands. So the Fortune 500, the Disney's of the world, the American Expresses, the Albertsons of the world, and connecting them across not just the digital world, but also the connected TV world. And so we launched a cookie list solution called the Authenticated Traffic Solution five years ago. We've been out there in market. Today, 92% of consumer time is available through that cookie list solution. So our brands today, 80% of them are already buying on cookie list. So there's still a transition over the next year, but many of our brands began this transition a couple of years ago and were able to reach their consumers and most importantly also measure the interactions with those consumers. I mean, Google must have gained a lot of data from that time. I mean, I'm glad everybody's moving forward to a different way, to your point, and you have to be ready for it, like LiveRamp, like Safari did that. But you're saying Safari did this back in 2017, if Google's doing it now, you know, from 2018 to now, that's a lot of proprietary data they may have scooped up over that time. But to your point, um, it's happening throughout this year, so bye-bye cookies. Travis Klinger, thank you, of LiveRamp.